What's going on? It's Vlogmas Day 24. Today I'm gonna to play the Ellison Park Winter Safari nine hole layout. Uh, it's a little different than last year's. So I was thinking of doing like a course review like I did with some of the other ones in the area for this course. But since it changes every year and it's not a permanent course, I figured I'd just do it as a fun little playthrough for my Vlogmas series. The UDIS layout that's available right now is not working, but I just had someone in the parking lot tell me there's a picture on Facebook that shows the layout pretty well. And they have these little stakes like that. Uh, all over the course, so we'll just look for those and play through. So this is hole one. The basket is about 300 feet that way behind, I believe it's out behind that tree. So it's way over there behind that tree. So I think I'll just throw a mid-range at it. Should be pretty close. I guess I was looking at the wrong tree because my disc is way back there. <laughs> oh, that would have been so good. All right, no stake for hole two, but I'm pretty sure it's the same as last year. So it's just a hyzer out to the right of this tree. You can see the basket kind of where I'm pointing. I think it's like 310 away. So I'm just gonna hyzer out a T-bird at it. It's a bit of a headwind, I think, so. Gonna put it on a decent amount of hyzer. Hopefully I don't go into the path. I don't really know where I'm supposed to tee, so I'm just gonna kind of just go right there. There's not really like a tee sign or pad or position or anything. Looks pretty good. That's the new putting style, baby. Go watch my putting style change video to see how I got my putting to be way more accurate like it was right there. All right, this one's the uphill hole. I think it's, it says it's 120. I don't know, I'm gonna range it real quick. I'm getting more like 190, but anyway, it's uphill. Probably plays around like 200 something. It used to be down behind me in the path, but they moved it up on this hill a little bit. So just kind of throwing an open shot with the putter up to the basket. Gonna throw the AVR X3 from my ACE video. Go watch that video. Way short. Oh. I think a big problem for me with putting uphill is I always tend to leave it low, like I just did there. And it might be just because my hands are really cold and like the release, it's hard to time. Um, but that was like, yeah, I just released that like super low. And I should have just put a bit more height on it, would have had a way better chance. All right, hole four is 360 from out in the open over here to the bottom of hole 12's fairway, the basket at hole 12. So we're kind of throwing a hyzer out in the open into the trees over there, like kind of where I'm pointing and trying to get to that basket. So I'm going to throw a big germ thunderbird. That was the worst grip lock I've literally had. <laughs> probably in the longest time I held on to that all the way through. I mean, I basically pin high, just way right. I'll give it a run. Just a soft run, you know? <laughs> Skipping away from me. the uphill putts man all right hole five we have a touchy 230 downhill shot perfect for the beat up casey avr it's kind of down there where i'm pointing i mean you're not gonna really be able to see it i tried looking on the camera and it's like really blends in with the trees back there but it's kind of just to the left of the frame a little bit dude i swear whoever ranged these did not do them right it's like over 250. I was throwing as if it was like 230. I ended up way short. Ow! I just kneeled right into like a root or a rock or something. All right, hole six. Kind of either a hyzer or a forehand. 
out to the basket at the base of that tree. I think you might be able to see it. It's just past that T-pad sign over there, that T-sign over there. It says 320 on the picture, but since some of these have been a little wrong, maybe the person ranging it was using U-Disc or just not using the T-positions that they're set at right now, I'm gonna assume it's more like 350 and there's a little bit of a headwind. I'm not gonna do forehand. I'm gonna throw a backhand hyzer through this gap over here because it looks more fun. I skipped so far left. I don't know if you can see that. Uh. It's getting windy and my hands are getting cold. And my camera's getting wet because it's raining too. Alright, we're getting like sleeted slash snowed slash rained on. I don't really know what these conditions are, but it's windy and cold. And like sleety now. Uh, this one's 330. Straight shot right there. I'm gonna throw this AVR X3 at it and just try to stand it up a little bit on a hyzer and put it right at the basket. Although, based on how I've been playing today, I think just these cold and windy and sleety conditions make me just an extraordinarily worse disc golfer. Uh, but we're gonna weather the storm and play these last couple of holes. So here we go. Didn't really put any height on that because it's way uphill. Should have put more height, but it made it there. Slid up a little bit. All right, hole eight, about 300 feet that way into those trees. There's a stake right here. I don't know if I should tee off to the left or the right of it, but I'm just gonna go to the right because it looks like it's more fun of a line to throw into these trees than just throw a forehand hyzer out there. I'm gonna throw a Cayman, kind of flat, a little bit of hyzer get it to uh, dump into that basket and hopefully miss all those trees. Oh, I smacked the last tree. Long putt with a wet disc. And a ditch behind me. <laughs> all right, hole nine, we have a big uphill hyzer shot. Up to what is that, hole 10 basket? Uh, starting from the fairway of hole six. Wind's kind of pushed me the right way. Ground's gonna be wet, so I'll probably get a skip. So I'm just gonna throw a T-Bird. Probably plays around 320, 330 with the uphill. But with the wind and the rain and everything, I think I should be able to get all the way there with just a T-Bird. Gotta be careful because there's some snow on the ground. I don't want to slip. And just so you know, you can just barely see the basket. I don't know if I'm pointing at it, but it's just over the top of the hill up there. That could be close, I couldn't really tell. We'll have to go see. Tyler in my car here with a fresh battery. Not sure what happened. I guess my camera battery was low and it stopped recording, but I did make this putt, so that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Here's the rest of the video, I guess. All right, I'm running out of battery, so I'm gonna make this quick. I'm heading off to Buffalo to go see some family. I hope you enjoy your holidays. This nine hole course is pretty nice. Keep the spirits high, playing a couple nine hole rounds throughout the winter while we wait for the warm weather to come our way so we can play more disc golf. I'll be playing here probably a couple more times throughout the winter. I hope you can get a chance to play a little bit this winter and I hope you enjoy your holidays. Have a good one. Peace.